Hello everyone, and welcome back to Victory at Sea Pacific, uh, part 8 of this series on uh, the U.S. campaign. And uh, as per usual, let's, um, let's do a recap from the last episode, see where we stand, um, go through our ports and our task forces and our ship shipping production and our resourcing, and then the overall, uh, look at, again at the overall strategy of uh, what we're trying to achieve, our next moves, and then get right into the action. So, uh, last time in part seven, uh, we took, we it was the first time um, that we went on the offensive. Uh, if you remember from uh, parts four and five and six, all three of those parts or episodes, um, we were basically on the defensive. Uh, we were at midway, and we were uh, attacked by a two carrier group, then a three carrier group, and then by six battleships. So uh, that is kind of historically um, accurate because uh, that's kind of what happened. Uh, that's basically the uh, <coughs> the Japanese first air fleet, as it was called, uh, which had the um, originally had the six carriers in three divisions, which at um, attacked Pearl Harbor and then after some time and uh, uh, after some action in the Coral Sea they came back and uh, with four carriers because the Zuikako and Shokako were damaged and then basically they tried to take Midway again so uh, you know the one one of the things uh, about this game as much as I uh, there's bugs and uh, and things that are frustrating the game is just um, absolutely beautifully done as far as uh, it's, it's for those who are enthusiastic about and and, are pa and really love you know the Pacific theater um, and his the uh, historical battles that happened in the Pacific during World War II uh, like it recreates things pretty accurately I mean it's not a hundred percent accurate but you know the the carrier names are the same, you know, um, the kind of the actions of the Japanese, the fact that they had more power in the beginning uh, and that the U.S. was in the defensive and had very few carriers, very few uh, resources, whereas the Japanese had more resources and were advancing. And then just reliving uh, almost um, accurately the those same battles where the, sh the powers shifted and went from you know such as the midway where uh, just like uh, it happened historically uh, we defeated the all those forces and turned the tides right um, and now after having done that now in in uh, part eight in this episode sorry in part seven we took Wake Island with the uh, this force here which is Task Force One. Uh, which is the Lexington and Saratoga uh, again they're historically accurate they were in the uh, one of the er first carriers uh, in the Pacific theater and they took Wake Island and then right here we have Task Force 8 which is the Enterprise and the Yorktown let's put her right there make Enterprise a lead ship obviously <laughs> uh, and Enterprise took the Marshalls um, and again, those two carriers were instrumental in the early parts of the war, and they, you know, had a lot of actions in trying to hit back at the Japanese. So that's what happened. Uh, so we took Wake and we took Marshall, and now um, we are on the offensive. And looking back at the overall theater, uh, you can see that there is a push happening in the north uh, where the Japanese are taking slowly but surely they're advancing and taking all these uh, US ports in the Aleutian Islands so my counter to that is going to be to build a northern force that's gonna go and tackle that it's not gonna be as strong as the other ones but that's what's happening there and then uh, we've holding our ground in the center and then we're gonna push in the south uh, and if you may know historically, that's exactly what happened. Uh, there was huge campaigns f 
for all of 1942 and 1943, all pushing, trying to push this southern part of the Pacific. Uh, and then, you know, once that was done and all those bases were captured, uh, then there was a push uh, towards the Central Pacific. So it's quite um, interesting that it, this is panning out. Like, I didn't know that. Like, I did some watching, um, uh, some digging on historical battles. And that was my plan, uh, if you remember from my first episode, to go from the south and then have a center um, force and then capture, you know, deal with my flanks, which is exactly what happened historically. I didn't realize that that was, uh, that was matching. Uh, anyways, so having said that, uh, the strategy here, uh, if you remember, I, I, my strategy is still the same to have uh, four main forces. The northern force, which is going to be slightly weaker and just be composed of um, uh, light cruisers, I mean, sort of light carriers, like the independents, and they're going to try to push, stop this push from the top, uh, and then basically kind of scout this area. I'm going to have, I also have a submarine that's going up here to scout this whole area. I'm going to send another one. It's a big area. Uh, and then that, and then the idea was to have a home force to basically cover this whole area here, and that's going to be pretty weak as well, because not, I don't expect a lot of, this is behind the front lines. And so I could cover the north and the home areas with those two forces, which I, I'm building right now, but they're not the priority. And then the two offensive forces, uh, I'm calling them the fast carrier task forces. Um, there is, uh, right here at Wake right now, there is Task Force 1, which is the Central Pacific Task Force that's going to push the Central Pacific. And then right here we have Task Force 8, which is the Enterprise, and that's going to be our Southern Force. And then right here you can see we have a submersible. Um, I am also trying to build submersible to assist these forces and scout ahead um, both in the south and especially in the center and in the north to see what's coming. That's one of the things I think that's been lacking so far. And um, yeah, so that's the goal. And then the idea is to reinforce those forces as we go, uh, mainly with carriers and then <coughs> cruisers, battleships, uh, and then a few DDs for uh, anti-submarine. So let's just cycle through these real quick. So Task Force 429 is um, it's a bunch of cruisers, part of uh, Task Force uh, 8, which by the way I'm going to rename as Task Force 2. Task Force 2 is going to be this whole Task Force. Uh, they're waiting there uh, as Task Force 8 is trying to join there and uh, these cruisers that were <coughs> hit, they got repaired, they're going to join there. And this is all going to be Task Force 1. So I'm trying to regroup them here. The problem is they are kind of running a little bit low on fuel. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to transfer fuel between the ships to m make them go. And Caledonia here has quite a bit of um, um, <coughs> supplies. So I'm going to head that Task Force there to resupply here. Um, and then, essentially, I'm going to actually upgrade all the planes there as well, because I believe it's a minor port, it's got an airfield, so we can upgrade. As far as I understand, on any airfield you can upgrade the plane, so that's a good thing, you don't need a full shipyard to upgrade planes. Uh, which is exactly uh, actually what's happening here in Wake Island. We have uh, the Lexington and the Enterprise, which have these symbols which means that they're being repaired. Uh, this circle symbol means that whole flight has been lost so the whole thing is being replaced. Um, and this is something that I'm still trying to understand but I think it's being replaced. The planes themselves are being, it just says out of field but the plane themselves are being replaced as well. But it doesn't matter because uh, here what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go here and upgrade our, our planes which uh, are due for an update. Uh, the Enterprise is going to chill for with the old planes for a little while until they get to New Caledonia. Because uh, um, we don't want to waste a lot of time on that. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. So those Task Force 2 we talked about. 
Task Force 25 is a submarine that's heading to scout the Central Pacific. Task Force 24 is a submarine also going through the center. Task Force 22 is a submarine going to the south. And 23 is a submarine going to the north. Uh, guys, remind me to submerge these guys when they enter uh, enemy waters. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you guys remember, my first loss was a submarine, a uh, Torgato submarine from, I think it was Task Force 5 or something that we lost just because they couldn't get undetected and they got detected and uh, pursued. Task Force 27 is the USS Hornet and in fact uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna send the Hornet south to join um, with the with her sister ships so we're gonna have all three Yorktown historical Yorktown together uh, the reason for that is that the the what I'm calling Task Force 2 is got the snow battleship so having three carriers is better uh, Task Force 1 here has four of the old dreadnought battleships from mid pearl so they're okay to have one you know one less carrier and then yep so we went through all the task forces now let's just briefly go through our shipyards pearl is building three independence class carriers that are almost done and then a fourth one which is uh, queued um, so it's interesting that Pearl can only have three which is but um, it's a bit of a shame but anyways we have these three carriers here uh, which are going to be part of the northern force and then San Diego is building two North Carolina battleships we're going to take forever and they're going to go to Task Force 2 for the Enterprise because uh, they have no battleships and then we have Mare Island building the Wasp which is almost ready they're going to join in with the Independence class carriers and join Northern Force and then we have Puja Sound which is building nothing we do have war bonds but what I want to do before I do anything is upgrade all my aircraft which is probably going to leave me not with a lot of more bonds left and then I'm going to remember to keep building cargo ships um, as well so as far as ports go um, so what we have is Wake Island and, uh, which is high priority right now because Wake Island, the Marshall Islands is high priority. Uh, this one has got no priority because I don't. There's one right next to it, and the um, making is going to be high priority as well. And that's our front lines. We want to have supplies there so that our fleets don't have to go all the way back to resupply. Uh, Midway is a mid supply because it's got tons of supplies right now, and I want to keep it decently supplied. Um, because it's going to be supporting the northern ooh look at that look at what we have here eight destroyers four cruisers and two battle cruisers wow well change of plans for the hornet i didn't think wow I don't think that a wasp and three independences can deal with all this. Or can they? We'll have to think about that one. We really do. Um, probably, honestly. The important thing, as I said, that's why it's actually even more important. Um, so, now that that's happening let's submerge this guy uh, let's go to one speed we want this guy to start submerging and um, are these th I assume these are all spotters because there's no carriers 
But having said that, as I said, I think we might want to send the Yorktown up there. Yeah, so we're going to tell the Yorktown um, to re redock here. Uh, sorry, the Hornet, not the Yorktown. Uh, and we're going to upgrade its plane as well. And deal with this northern threat as soon as the other carriers are good to go. Because the reason for that is we have a ton of supply ships here and we want to protect this. So this has become a priority now and we, as you can see, we don't have a lot. Uh, we do have Task Force um, 1 here that could deal with some of this. But I don't want to... I don't want to take them away from the central area. I want each area to have their own fleet. Okay, so I wanna let's do that. Let's upgrade the planes at Wake and the planes at Hawaii, and then we're gonna take. Uh, <coughs> My only concern is uh, submarines. I mean, the only thing that a carrier can't deal with is submarines. So what I would like to do is build some um, anti-submarine ships, so San Diego is building that the wasp carrier, you need to build me <coughs> Atlanta mm, Atlanta costs 95 and the Fletcher you've got 3 depth charge So it's 55 versus 95. Days to build 24, days to build 14. So how about we build one Atlanta. Upgrade these guys. See how the war bones just disappear. And then build two Fletchers and upgrade them as well. There goes half the war bonds. But we're gonna need this in case we both for AA and in case anything any carriers show up there and DD. Um Okay. So now that that's being planned, let's uh let's upgrade our ships uh, starting with weak because this is the highest priority right now. Let's go in here. What are these Dauntlesses? So we have Dauntlesses, Wildcats, and Devastators. So we're going to start with these guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six Devastators. And uh, one, two, three, four, five Dauntlesses, which you can see here. And then let's see what's the best aircraft that we can build right now. We have Wildcats, which is our best fighter. Hell Divers, which are our best um, dive bombers. And we do have the Avengers, which are torpedo bombers. Bomb damage 4. Yeah, so it's wasted as a bomber. The Avenger is really not a great bomber. So you can see here from the stats uh, you can get up to 18 damage from a dive bomber. I mean it's kind of hit or miss but you can see even the least amount is uh, bigger than the other ones. Um, and you can fit them as torpedo bombers. So you can see how f they're flexible. So their their range is like 1000 versus an Avenger which has 870 so it has longer range which is critical. 239 knots versus 257 so you can see right there I mean it's and it costs twice as much uh, so we are gonna go with hell divers so let's get rid of these uh, devastators six of these so let's build one two three four five six perfect and swap 
you, swap you, swap you, swap you, swap you, and swap you. Perfect. Now, we have these Dauntlesses, but we don't have a lot of war bonds. Um, and we still do have a bunch of fighters that are being repaired, unfortunately. But it's okay. We, I'm gonna see. I'm curious to see how that uh, that works out. So now that we've done that, I think that was a Lexington, right? Yeah, that has the health hypers. Now let's go to Saratoga. Uh, let's uh, click on the Saratoga, and it's the same deal. We've got the Dauntlesses, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six Devastators. So, once again, and funny, uh, Wake gets all these Devastators. I mean, they get a lot of planes, and they sit in the hangar though. But we should get sell these or something. <laughs> all right, let's get some. Um, we got 240 some war bonds. Let's get. Uh, now that's the problem. Like, I really want. We're gonna have to upgrade the Hornet first because she is gonna go into battle. What do you got? Oh, Hornet! Nice. You got Avengers. Three of them. Or well, you're all over the place. One, two, three, four, five. Five Avengers and two Devastators? Well, that's interesting. A whole bunch of uh, Wildcats. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, what do you call those? Um, Dauntlesses. Perfect. So, we're gonna get rid of these Devastators and swap them out for Helldivers. Let's build two Helldivers and swap these Devastators. Now, 870 nautical mile for the Avenger. We're really running low on, on bonds, so it's not perfect, but it is what it is. We still have Dauntlesses, and for what we really want to be efficient with our bonds here, we really do. So, having done that. What are these? Hell divers. Oh, they have a different symbol. Only two of them. Jeez. Mm. Okay. Now it's either with the remaining bonds. Because remember, we're, we have like independence class uh, carriers coming in too. If we look at Pearl Harbor, these guys are going to need. Yeah. And the wasp. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. We're just going to have to uh, have a mix. Okie dokie. Well, there's nothing else here for us to do. Um, I really would like to build some cargo ships as well, but it's like it's really hard to decide what to um, look at this. Prejo Sound is not building anything. Don't we have upgraded uh, cargo ships? T2 class oil tanker. It's all, it's all it does is bring, take oil, so I would rather have something cost 50. Mm. Oh, 
I think we're gonna I'm gonna save up those war bonds. All right, um, let's focus back. Let's go to twenty-five times time, and let's get this task force all united. This one is just being repaired. Though what I might do, honestly, is I'm tempted to just take task for this task force to clean up here. Run deep. Yep, yeah, I am tempted because by the time all this happens, then you're just gonna go and. The problem with this task force is it's slow because it's got those slow battleships. And I don't want to leave Wake Island undefended. Decisions? Decisions. What would you guys do? What would you do if you were me? Keep building this force and let them have. Cause let's click on these guys. It looks like they're headed towards uh, southeast. Alright, let's get the fog of war on too. Did these guys have anything besides the tugboats? No. And these are just spotters, so it looks like these guys are just chilling. I'm just checking on my submarines here, make sure that everything is. Uh, where is this sub going? I want you to go like right about here actually and then I think we had another sub or is the other sub that we had twenty four I think it was twenty two twenty two and twenty three yeah hmm okay um yeah Oh, what the hell is this? See? Mr. Midway. Let's, uh... Let's swap some of these Dauntlesses out. Are we in range? Yes, we are. Time to do some uh, defending. Oh, look at this. That's why we need a home fleet. That's why we need a home fleet. These guys, I just wanted to push here, but our central forces looks like Spotters. Flights. Yeah, do something. Scout up. I wanna see what's up there. Uh yeah. Okay. So we have to deal with this guy. And we have to deal with this guy. Okay, Hornet. Where's the Hornet? You my friend. You're going to be our hero. And should I send you on your own? That's, that's just does not sound like a good idea. But you know what? I would rather have you here. I really would. You're going to have to uh, do what Americans did. Take what you have and uh, uh, 
excuse me. Oh, you don't have fuel? What? You have tons of fuel. Why would you not have fuel? Mr. Hornet, where are you? Actually, head this way. Okay. How long does it take for you guys to refuel? Low fuel, well, do something about it. You have low fuel. So you sent four out because these guys have low fuel. How interesting. Well, why can't you? You have like 20,000 aviation fuel. Should be able to do something. I would think. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Four dive bombers and four destroyers? Should I just let them do it? Yeah, I'm not gonna even micro this. So what do we have to stop this? Uh, we're not gonna mobilize them. You, yeah, you need to like really head out there. Boom. Ha! <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, when it comes to like small ships, or when target selection is not that important, it's all RNG, anyways, so meaning hit or miss, like it's like rolling the dice, might as well have them. Uh, deal with it. Okay. Let's uh, get these. What? What have we spotted? Where are these guys coming from? Oh. Okay. It's kind of cute, actually. Mr. Aurora. Uh, why do you do that? Okay, whatever. DL. You folk. Create a new task force. New task force 31 created. Go deal with that. Perfect. These guys really don't want to do anything else with the illusions, huh? And I really. Uh, yeah. Anyways, what I was doing here is I was uh, swapping. I wanted to swap some of these guys out and um, scouting because <laughs> it uh, looks like uh, scouting is uh, still on a white other low fuel uh, do we have another Catalina? yep okay let's go to 25 
What's happening over here? Task Force 8, Task Force 29. Yeah, you keep on going there. You keep on going there. Saratoga. I wish my other uh, my other ships here would uh, get a move on. Seven days. It looks like it's not happening anytime soon. Just trying to see if the wasp four days for the wasp carrier. And a whole bunch. Twelve days for those Fletchers, so it's gonna be a little while. Uh Do we need more than anything right now? We need. So do I focus on planes or do I get some cruisers? Much needed cruisers for that northern force. I think I'm gonna go for the cruisers. Actually, one more thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for the cruisers. Let's go here. You, Mr. Puget Sound, you're not doing anything. Um, I need you to build me some cruisers, fast cruisers. Brooklyn, Cleveland. What are you? Northampton, St. Louis, Portland. You are quite fast. Brooklyn class. So what's the difference here? Cleveland AA strength is incredible, which is good. Brooklyn. So we got fewer guns. Cleveland. Okay, view map. Six destroyers. Come on, I guess. Let's check it out. This is our cruiser division. Let's get you guys in a uh, Information. Um, are you? You guys are all okay. Let's just go. Let's just go do this. Attack. A whole bunch of destroyers. Yeah. I'm clicking in the middle here is I'm trying to I would have liked to get them uh, 
closer together. Let's see, how where's the range on these guys? Yeah, we're getting there. Bad idea, just send a couple. Who's firing? Mr. Chicago! Let's check you up. Light guns damage. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is a good time for me to comment on balance on this game. So, while we continue to attack, um, so as you can see, and I've said this before in previous uh, in previous videos, uh, this game appears to have certain classes that just outgun other classes which is kind of what what was historically true um, I mean I as I mentioned I come from I played for like over two years uh, World of Warships which is a 12 versus 12 game where things are a little bit skewed uh, because like a destroyer can actually compete against uh, battleships in certain situations and uh, they can use smoke and all this other stuff that uh, basically gives them the ability to match the you know those bigger guns whereas historically speaking it's um, I'm, I mean yeah you can torpedo like the bigger ships but um, what happens is like it, from what I understand historically anything with a bigger gun just outmatches and outwins like there's the smaller ship has no chance um, <coughs> of winning and this reflects that, uh, this game, uh, anything you can see, we have cruisers against destroyers. These destroyers have no chance because, I mean, they're not moving, first of all. I mean, the, besides the AI that's, uh, you know, like we just outrange them, right? So anything that outranges anything else is basically guaranteed win in this game. And, um, for example, if we faced even one battleship from the Japanese, they, if they were intelligent, like smart, they could keep out of range and basically take on this entire cruiser force. Uh, similarly, uh, if you have a, a single aircraft carrier, can take out an entire force as long as the AA is not too strong. Uh, and that's the only counter to the carriers. Because... Um, I've heard other people in this game say, oh, you know, the carriers are overpowered. Well, they're overpowered if because typically the engagements that you see, the enemy has really bad AA. Um, but when, when you have good AA, uh, you basically shut down. you shoot down their planes. So, in that case, uh, you know, or if you, you know, the, on the, the, you actually do have counters. Look at 
at this. This is why I didn't bother sending any planes. There's just no, no point, right? Good job, guys. So that kind of demonstrated my uh, my point very well. Now, going back to what to do. So if here, for example, we have eight. The four cruisers, two battle cruisers. So do but two battle cruisers. Um, the only way to counter this is with other battle cruisers and battleships. But you're going to take damage, and then you can mop up the cruisers and destroyers because of the range, or simply have a carrier that outranges everything, as long as they don't have crazy AA. In which case, uh, or and they don't have any air defense, right? So, which these kind of ships usually, from what I've seen, don't have crazy AA. Um, so yeah, so let's get this uh, Yorktown to go and uh, and uh, create a patrol here to defend our, our fleet. All right, how are we doing here? Uh, we're still uh, gathering all these forces over here. We do have some war bonds now, so we could potentially and that's another good thing for people to do is just go island to island so you can always resupply. Now let's go back here. Um, so remember my question earlier? I was like what happens to these planes? Well, well apparently they get completely because remember we did not upgrade the Saratoga? We did upgrade... Uh, can I take the whole squadron and... Yes, I can. Perfect. <coughs> um, so we did upgrade, I believe it was the Lexington, so let's just double check that, where we have all these awesome Helldivers. Whereas the Saratoga, we still did not upgrade fully because we have like a dullness. Um, but my question was, uh, what happened to those planes? Right, that there was a couple planes that were damaged. Well, it looks like they they get fully repaired. So good on them. Wake Island. Uh, yeah, you. <laughs> So, buddy, um, how are we doing with supplies here? So, uh, task force one. Are these bombs, for example? Saratoga. Got bombs and then fuel. We're doing okay. Yeah, we're okay. Where's There was a place that told you how many bombs something had. Oh, right here. 185 out of two tor torpedoes. Yeah. So could use a little more bombs, but we're okay. Okay. That is fearless submarine. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Saratoga, 
you still have yeah you have Avengers nice how are we doing with the our ship building five days Two days on this wasp. So, uh, I'll tell the wasp to come at midway as well, and then uh, where's I? I do need like anti DD stuff here. Where's? Oh God, no cruisers. North Carolina's Atlanta class. Fletchers, we do need these guys 10 days. Docked. So I might have to wait for these guys to uh, to get that stuff. Okay, let's uh, speed up time a little bit here. some uh, sorry guys I keep going back and forth but I do want to build some uh, heavy cruisers here for this task force so let's do that Fletcher 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 Atlanta Yes, let's do that. A Pujo sound. Let's get some, uh, what was it, Cleveland's? They're not heavy cruisers, but good support ships. It's good for AA. Uh, Brooklyn class light cruiser. Yeah, see, I want heavy cruisers, but I don't want to invest too much. Maybe on the Porter class, they're really fast. Where's the Porter class? Portland class, sorry. to build cruisers, DDs, and a couple more carriers. And among the cruisers, I'd like to build a Baltimore class. How much are those? North Carolina. Yeah, I think, oh yeah, we don't, we're not going to unlock that for a little bit. You know, but for convoys we can deal with, uh, let's build some Clevelands. Build a Cleveland. Upgrade you. Let's do that. Okie dokie. Mr. Fleet. Oh, I could I could have this fleet deal with it. But no. no. I'm just gonna keep on uh, trucking here with we're gonna have our northern fleet deal with the north as intended. We're gonna have the central fleet protect the center as intended. Do a little scouting.
Okay. Patrol for these guys. <clears throat> uh, where's my other? Twenty four. Maybe I should just prove a point and just take to Yorktown and destroy this whole this whole thing. In fact, I think I might do that. I mean, the Yorktown is fast. We're doing 33 knots, but I need to have the uh, the very best. I do need to have the very best. Uh, I need to have these hail divers, which have. I mean, similar in uh, range and in bomb damage, so, so it's not horrible. It's the Avengers that are not as good. Which is why we're not going to have many of those. Uh, This task force. Are we? Uh, we should do something with it. Yeah, let's. Um, we either need to go and deal with these guys, or we need to go and help out with these guys. So, do you have anything? No, you don't. So, Task Force One with your PBs. Maybe we can try to uh, have you go in this direction. That is not a lot of DDs, damn it. <coughs> have to be quite careful if we encounter submarines. Having said that, these the Aurora might be a planta class. Aurora. Yeah, you have death, ch death charges. Great. Okay, so we're okay. We are totally okay. Look at this submersible. Okie dokie. So our main threat is going to be these guys. So we're s carriers almost there. Oh yeah, what's happening here? Task Force Two. I mean, there's not much to resupply yet. Oh, you do have resupplies. Nice! Look at all that resupplying going on. Get in 
there. And this must be a. I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna upgrade the planes of the uh, this task force here. Perfect. So task force two. So you are task force eight. Now you're gonna become the mighty task force two. Perfect. I'll slow this down so I don't miss anything. Okay. Now we are all nice. Yeah, we depleted quite a bit of the uh, supplies there, but it's perfect. Now let's um, let's click on you. Oh my God, what a mess here! You guys all need to be one big thing, one big happy family. And then the CVs, Yorktown, go up there. And uh, where's the mighty Enterprise? Enterprise, go up there. Yeah, you rejoin the formation, obviously. And uh, Enterprise. And Yorktown, let's deal with you guys. Because you guys have Devastators. Yeah. Thankfully, we have a couple War Bonds. Now the question, so we have Dauntlesses, let's check a look, Mighty Enterprise, bunch of Dauntlesses, bunch of Wildcats, bunch of Devastators, so these six Devastators, wow that's a lot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the question is do we get go with Avenger Torpedo Bombers or do we go with Die Bombers? I'm gonna say these guys cost a lot though. They are fast. They do all this. See, they can be both, right? Whereas the uh, this guy is just a torpedo bomber. They can't. They're not flexible. They're like, yeah, no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the hell divers. We're gonna build um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all we get. So we're gonna swap. Fortunately, yep. Swap you guys out. The Enterprise is decked out like crazy. Okay. Fortunately, Yorktown isn't, but we'll we'll deal that with another time. Okay, Mr. Enterprise. How many CAs do you have? One, two, three. Yeah, you have a good number. Okay. Uh, task Force 2, you are the Southern Force. And you are going to go... I'm going to go right over here. And you're going to deal with this, all this stuff right here. And it's a lot to deal with, but... You can do it. You're the Enterprise and the Yorktown. You guys can do anything. Um, wait, Yorktown. You still have. You have. One Devastator torpedo bomber. Oh, you do have actually all these. Do yeah, perfect. See? You have a lot of die bombers. That is absolutely perfect. Um, what I do want to do is take this submersible submerge. It's time to submerge. I'm getting kind of close here. And I want you to go like right about. Mm, I want to say here. In fact, I want you to go here. Just 
out this whole area for me. Perfect. Dive, run deep, go even deeper. What is this? That's your depth. Nice. Okay, so Task Force 2 is gonna go deal with some of these bad boys. So, Caledonia, you can actually be surplus now, honestly, but yeah. Okay, so Enterprise is going there. Mr. You, you're gonna go and just defend here. Uh, you are that guy. Where's my other submarine? There was another one, 24, I think. 24? 25. Okay, so 25 is that one. Yeah, I want uh, you. Do one of these. stuff so you see guys we're gonna scout all this area and then we've got this submarine scouting all this area which is perfect we got the enterprise going down I'm a little worried about these guys they don't have very good planes but um, and here we should have do we have anything coming in oh Jesus it's taking forever uh, yeah we want to build more cargo ships so Hawaii has aviation fuel now again, so now we're gonna put you to surplus. And midway... Midway you're still good. I'm gonna put you... you're still mid, so... Yeah, I'm gonna put you to surplus. Okie dokie. So we have... Uh, This force that just disappeared. Right? But we're gonna find it. Because we've got Catalinas and we are America. How is uh, my one carrier doing here? You're just about there. Ooh, what we got here? The Bellow Wood and the Independence and the Princeton. Oh, yes. Guys, by the way, these were part of Task Force 58, the big task force. Um, yes. Thank you. That means that we probably have some stuff over here, too. Do we not? We have one. the wasp oh yeah so you guys I want you all to meet up here well first you guys I'm gonna upgrade you guys can I actually upgrade these guys here wait hang on hang on hang on let's go back let's go back okay uh, are you import and can I upgrade your stuff oh yeah I can all right guys we're gonna have to deal with these carriers and get them ready so let's start from mr. wasp well, you got dauntlesses wildcats devastators yeah I mean, that's not gonna work out your enterprise you're not Why are you showing me Enterprise? Yeah, I don't think you can do that. So, shit. Okay. Well, I guess head to Midway. God damn. 
30 knots, you're doing good. You. You, my sir. Need to, uh. What we got? Avengers? Wildcats? Dauntlessness. Okay. Uh, we don't have any war bonds. So. I mean, it's not bad. We don't have any devastators, so. Why don't you just go here? Mr. Uh, go up here. Then let's do this. I am really worried about this uh, group though. Why are you still low on fuel? I don't get that. Okay, so let's speed this up a little bit and um, get these guys going. And let's remember everything that's happening. We're staging it midway so we can push and destroy this force and recapture the north. We have Task Force 1, which uh, is patrolling off the Marshall Islands. Um, and as soon as we have more war bonds, we're going to change the planes and probably attack Troc. We've got Enterprise that is moving to attack this southern area she has a good set of planes and uh, we have the submarine scouting and uh, we have these ports on high all of them because we need we need to resupply at them so the other thing I can do is uh, build some more cargo ships so let's do that. Shipyard. Uh, who's not building much? Atlanta class, Cleveland class. Okay, where's my cargo ship? Can I even afford any? 50 cost. Yeah, I can't. But that's gonna be our next. We're gonna th next thing we're building, guys. Let's go to 100 speed. Actually, 200 speed. We are in May of 1942, gentlemen and ladies. More convoys going to Midway. Midway is in surplus now, though. View on map. Oh, there you guys are. See, the power of Catalinas, boys. Power of Catalinas. Now, we only have the Hornet here. We, and then we have these guys. So what we're gonna do? It's gonna speed this up. And uh, yeah, wait for these uh, independences to come closer so that we have a better chance. Oh, they turn the fog of war off every time. so tempted to just go with the Hornet versus them all, just to prove you guys the point. Uh, actually, let's slow this down. Where's my Hornet? Hornet has Dauntlesses, Wildcats, and Avengers. Torpedo bomb. Yeah, so we we do have to use them as torpedo bombers, unfortunately. So we do have quite the number of bombers here. We have six, eight, nine dauntlesses, and six of those. We're 
versus all these guys. Yeah, I would feel more comfortable if these guys came as well, though. Disappear again. Oh no, never mind. Right there. If these say a lot of f low fuel, uh, it's ridiculous. Why do you not get ref you have so much fuel at midway? You really do. So we have all these Catalinas, and we have a bunch of these guys. That would be a nice flight to uh, support these guys. But they still. Look at this. We're gonna send these guys here. And we're gonna send the Hornet over here. the speed of the... Uh, yeah, they're fast, like, fast carriers. This is so irritating. If you guys know about, like, what to do about these f planes, please let me know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet up here and intercept these guys. Dauntlesses. Let's check it out. What are you, Little Rock? I think you're the Atlanta, aren't you? Mr. Atlanta. No. join up with uh, this fleet. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was checking the range on these guys. So. Well, let's go back to 100.
four cargo ships are kind of risking it. we get to test the power of these uh, independence and stuff which I mean they're like a third of a carrier kind of <laughs> I think this one uh, Hornet can probably take on all three of these independences if we wanted to are you here? yeah you are, there you are ships yeah not terribly concerned about cargo ships I want to know where these uh where the damn battle cruisers went how do you disappear like that See your plane. Perfect, merged. Task Force 27, where the hell did he go? Okay... The hunt is on guys, the hunt is on. Surplus really f okay. That is insane. You know what? Just keep you guys at high. I'm tired of <laughs> you guys running out of aviation fuel. like the most elusive freaking fleet ever like where did they disappear to okay well that's going on let's is there anything going on here no they're still chilling two corvettes so Ridiculous. Uh, and I 
wish that these guys would uh, do this on their own. Don't have to just keep telling them to scout. Ooh. We're getting closer, boys. Definitely getting closer. I'm gonna hunt you down. There you are. There you are. Hello. Can you guys uh, merge? Okay, so we got Just kill this guy, will you? Kill that guy too? Alright boys, let's get into battle. What do we got? Ooh, quite the fleet going on there. Alrighty. So we got this group, this group, I don't know what you guys are doing, but okay. Guys, um, hmm, running low on fuel there a little bit. Congo. Haruna, the cow. Cruisers, wow, that's a lot of ships. So we got the Congo and the Haruna. So you guys, I want you to go for the Congo. Where are my other ones? You guys go for the Haruna. Fox. 
Fox and George. Hmm. Fox go for these guys. And George. George will figure something out. George, you should be able to go for... Why can't I go scroll? Okie dokie. Hello, Mr. Congo. Oh, Jesus. Quite the A going on there. Yeah. Not very good, guys. Not very good. going with for by the way mr. item squadron going for the Haruna that's good you guys appear to be going for a Tory which is fine I guess here guys and when people are saying that uh, aircraft carriers are overpowered this is why they're not overpowered if you have good AA Oh, you're 
direct these uh, George Squadron. Oh, we got the Tory. Otago. Mm. That's what I really want to take out. George Squadron. Would you be able to make it if you... I think you can't make it to the uh, Otago. So how about you just go here? There you have it, guys. Uh, for anyone who says that cares are overpowered, there is your answer. They're not. Task Force 27, recall all flights. all flights. So uh, we got rid of the two battle cruisers guys but we lost a lot of planes trying to do that. Oh we have the wasp here. Hello. Mr. Wasp. Yeah devastators? Yeah that's not gonna happen. So what we're gonna do guys, uh, we're gonna end the episode right here, Mr. Wasp is gonna go and we're gonna re-rendezvous at uh, Midway. The Wasp has two DDs. We're gonna get all these CVs fixed up at Midway. Um, and then How are we doing with the build up here? Pearl Harbor is building another independence class. He's well, halfway for the North Carolinas. I mean, <laughs> that could clean up some stuff. And then we get the Cleveland. So, so yeah. Well, the, the reason what I was thinking is, you know, build some surface ships, uh, like a heavy cruisers or something, to help out these planes because they're getting murdered by AA. But um, this this episode, guys, shows that the game is balanced. Um, earlier, we had uh, six destroyers and five cruisers completely got annihilated, uh, and in this case we had a, a full fleet 
that was protected by destroyers and I don't think we could kill any of them. Eight destroyers and four cruisers with strong AA and that goes to show you the power of like we, we sent out you know three light carriers and a full fleet carrier but so kind of like two equivalent almost of two fleet carriers. Uh, we did take out their battleships or battle cruisers um, but this is where it shows that having a combined fleet is always better because if I had for example right now even one battleship I could have mopped up all you know that entire you know, maybe one battleship and one cruiser could have mopped up all these guys or even two battleships completely destroyed these guys so the lesson there guys is no have a you know have a good balance fleet that has good AA to protect yourself and then go for targets that you know you have the superiority on so for carriers go after you know use your carriers against other carriers use your carriers against other battleships once those are done use your battleships and cr heavy cruisers against their cruisers and destroyers do not waste planes going against DDs or light cruisers that have strong AA so with that in mind we're gonna regroup at Bidway and uh, I wish as I said I had because now we moved our task force one all the way up uh, like these BPs could have decimated that force once so the lesson here is like let's build some battleships or heavy cruisers to help that northern force out a little bit uh, and then use that lesson learned for our central and southern forces we've got uh, the enterprise here see we, the enterprise has no BBs right so that would be a good time to get those North Carolinas to join up with them and uh, here we have a lot of BBs so this is a good 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 force but not enough DDs right um, though the CAs should be good enough for that protection anyways guys uh, yeah as I said good good episode to show the balance to you saw a carrier battle and a cruise in a surface battle and uh, we defended all of our convoys well actually we haven't defended anything these guys are still there but we're gonna we're gonna deal with this uh, next episode uh, we, it's gonna be tough going against those cruisers uh, but now we're gonna have the USS Wasp that is gonna help us out so we're gonna have the Wasp and uh, the the Hornet so we're gonna have two fleet carriers and three light carriers and that should be good enough to take these guys out even with some Holossus as we can see so hope you enjoyed leave some comments or suggestions subscribe and like and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.